and welcome to Modeling Misadventures. And in today's video, I'm back on the Morris Marina van. Now, last time on this project, I got the interior done. Turned out all right. And now I'm gonna start doing something in here. Now, I never intended this to be a hyper-realistic model, but I did want there to be an engine inside when you lift up the bonnet. So that's gonna involve looking at some more reference photographs, some computer design, and plenty of 3D printing. Now I started off with this photograph I found on the internet here, and this shows the back wall of the engine bay and these two side sections. So those are the ones that I've modeled first. And these are the parts I've come up with. That's just a simple back wall. And these are the two side sections. And when we put them in, they end up looking like that. Right, just need to give these a coat of paint. Right, I've got these sprayed. And so next I'm gonna do a bit of work on this back wall here. Now here's another picture of the engine bay. And I wanted to have a go at some of the details on this rear engine wall here. I'm not very mechanically minded, but that I think is the windscreen washer reservoir. And this I think is the brake fluid reservoir. And these are the hydraulic tubes that go to the brakes, I think. So I'm gonna have a go at modeling those. This is just an extra little piece for the center section. Go on there like that. And I've printed out a thin black sheet here, which is gonna go on there. Now these are just a couple of pieces that go on the back wall. Now that's my back wall done. There's a couple of bits to go on here now. So I've had a go at making the brake fluid reservoir. That's not come out too bad. And here's the windscreen washer reservoir. Again, all done on Fusion and 3D printed. I'm just gonna paint those now, see if I can make them look somewhat realistic. Just gonna use these acrylic paints to paint these. They'll dry quickly and um, it's easy to mix different colors, which I'm gonna do in here. Now I'm going to try and make it look like there's some washer fluid in here by putting a very, very dilute wash of blue on. That doesn't look too bad. I'm going to try the same on the brake fluid reservoir now. Now these are another couple of parts I've made for that back wall. Again, I think all to do with brake fluid and stuff. And I'm uh, going to try and paint these in some metallic enamel. Going to see what happens if I mix these two together. Well, that's how that's come out. Right, I'm going to put all these bits on. Well, that's not looking too bad. Uh, next, I'm going to try and do some of the pipe work using some um, wire. That's coming on all right. Now I'm just gonna put these rubber grommets over the penetrations here. Well, that's the back wall done. And now I'm gonna have a crack at this uh, left side. It's got a few bits and pieces on here. I don't know what all of these are. I think this is something to do with the starter motor. Don't know what these do, but uh, gonna have a go at modeling them. So I've designed and 3D printed these parts. And uh, on the left here, these ones were printed with my filament printer and these have been printed with the resin printer. Uh, 
just to see how they compared. You can see that the uh, battery looks much better on the resin print. Um, you see the quality here is just uh, much nicer. Yeah, look at the difference on this thing here. So I'm gonna use the resin printed parts for this. Well, there's my back and sides, and uh, just going to do the right side now. Now, there doesn't seem to be as much on this right side. It's just a radiator fluid reservoir. So again, I've modeled that infusion. It's not perfect, but uh, it's near enough. Well, I think that's my back and side walls done. Um, so all I need to do with these now before I put them in is a bit of weathering and dirtying. Well, these are looking a bit more realistic. That's certainly more like what it would have looked like if you lifted the bonnet on my car. Not one of these pristine restoration jobs. So I think they're now uh, ready to go in. Well, it was a bit of a struggle getting those parts in. Well, there we are. Doesn't look too bad. So now the next stage is I've got to make an engine. So I'm going back to Fusion. Now this video shows you how the engine was designed on Fusion. And it's really just a series of blocks that are then rounded or chamfered. And uh, I just kept adding little bits on. Uh, little details on the side, indentations. Uh, here the spark plugs coming on, uh, cap at the top, some bolts and an oil filter. And this is what I ended up with at the end. So not too bad, looks pretty good. Well, this is what it looks like after it's been printed. Not a bad job. Um, should be all right when it gets painted. I have made a couple of other things to go with it. This is a, uh, an attempt at a radiator. And these are some uh, exhaust manifolds that I've done on the resin printer. And uh, I don't know what this is. It's on the side of the engine. Um, not sure what it does, but anyway, I'm gonna start painting these and putting it together. So I've spray painted that black. I'm giving these a very thin coat of gold and I've sprayed that silver. And I figured out what this is. It's a carburetor. Printed another couple of bits here. Cooling fan and a distributor cap. I didn't actually design these. I managed to get these off Thingiverse. So that made it easy. Now this is the air filter housing printed out on my resin printer. So I've got these extra bits painted, so just stick them on. Just gonna put a bit of heat shrink tubing on here for the uh, spark plug connectors. Well, that's my engine done. Not come out too bad. I'm just gonna dirty that down a bit now and it should be finished.
Well, I think that's my engine finished. And it uh, doesn't look too bad. Looks a lot better with the bit of rust on it. So I think that can go in. I've just made these. These are just to support the engine. Just gonna glue them on the bottom of the chassis. That's a bit easier than getting the real one in. It's looking all right in there. Just put the radiator in. That's the air filter housing in. I've just designed and printed a couple of final parts. This little thing here is the radiator hose attachment. And this one is the alternator. Well, I think that's all the bits in the engine compartment that I'm going to make. So to finish it off, I'm just going to put a few more wires and pipes in. Well, that's it another phase of this completed and i wanted to have an engine in here and that's what we've ended up with very happy with that it's not absolutely to scale or totally realistic but it's good enough for what i wanted so that's where i'm going to leave it today uh i think in the next video we'll be finishing this van off just need to do a little bit more work on the exterior and then that will be it so for now, I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Modelling Misadventures.